Welcome back to another episode of the New York Mets franchise here on the show. We're going to be at home in City Field. This is not the Miami Marlins. We're 53 and 78. We are 80 and 51. Good enough for first in the NL East. Now on the mound for the Mets is going to be Jacob DeGrom. 9 and 7 on the end of the 2.76 ERA. Through 20 games, 130 and two thirds innings. It's getting up 116 hits, only 22 walks, and has struck out a total of 128 batters. An amazing year for DeGrom. Now on the mound, gonna be on the mound for Marlins, their new ace, sadly, uh, Edison Volquez. 13 and 6 on the year with a 3.09 ELRA, 26 starts, 177 and two thirds innings, getting up at 71 walks, 131 strikeouts. Not awful, but there is room for improvement. His ERA is good though. In the top of the second, in the jam, Tomas Telis up, runners on second and first, ground out to Walker, to Reyes, and that'll end the inning. Get out of that jam for the Grom. David Wright on the year, not acting like his normal right, but the power is there. 242 average, 12 home runs, and 32 RBIs. Leading off the inning in the bottom of the third. 2 1 count. Edison Volquez, here comes the pitch. And Wright will hit this the deep left field. Looking up is Yelich, and that is going to go into the stands. A. Home run for David Wright, raised that apple, his 13th on the year, and it gives the Mets a 1-0 lead. In the top of the 7, Justin Bohr up 70 pitches in the game for the Grom 1-0 game, and Bohr will hit an outside hanging slider into their own bullpen, actually our bullpen, and it gives the game a whole new ball game. It is a tie game, top of the ninth. the Grom finishing off of the ninth inning, trying to at least. 113 pitches on the game. Runner on first for Prado. 1-2 count. Swing on an outside slider. Gets him swinging. And that's the end of the inning. Bottom of the ninth. Neil Walker in. Fernando Rodney is pitching. 1-1 one, one count to Walker. Two outs in the inning. He hits that to left field. But Yelich is there. And we have some free baseball, folks. In the top of the 10th. In the jam for Fernando Salas. Going out to Walker. Yelich does not give the Marlins the lead. And we get out of that jam. In the... In the bottom of the 10th, it's going to be David Wright looking to give the Mets the lead with the only run of the game. Runners on second and first. Mike Dunn in to get the lefty matchup. He hits that very well to the left field, but Yelich is right there. And it's a tie game. Now, Justin Bohr up in the top of the 12th, I mean, excuse me, 11th, and he hits that into the gap for an extra base hit. Run around in third. He will score. And he has given the Mets, excuse me, the Marlins both of their runs in this ball game. Home run and an RBI double to take the lead on the top of the 11th. He is pumped. Now, in the bottom of the 11th, 3 2 count to, for Neil Walker, 0 and 4 on the day. Cespedes is on base. If you could take a walk, that would be great. Run on second. Same situation Bohr was in. AJ Ramos is in the closest game. Here comes the windup and the pitch. And he's going to hit this catcher to lease in sight of the ball. He makes the catch. And the Marlins win this game in extra innings. 2-1. to one. You see Don Madeline happy for that. I believe Mike Dunn does get the W as he was pitching when the run was happened. They're celebrating on the field. Oh, excuse me. I was standing in the left field the whole game. I am, you know, not in it. But thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in another episode of the New York Mets franchise.